The overall goal of the following experiment is to record the electrophysiological activity of cultured cells via a planar patch clamp chip. This is achieved by sterilizing, priming, and testing the patch clamp chips to allow the growth of cell culture and the subsequent monitoring of its electrophysiological activity. After testing, chips can be stored until they are primed again in a cell biology lab. As a next step, neurons are extracted from Limnaea stagnalis and cultured onto the chips. Finally, the chips are connected to a patch clamp amplifier in order to monitor the electrophysiological activity of the cells. The main advantage of this technology over the existing planar patch clamp chips is that it is suitable for use with neurons establishing culture, allowing the interrogation of synaptically communicating neurons. This method and the approach will allow better understanding of ion channel functions of excitable cells um, embedded within a neuronal network under both normal and pathological conditions. The implications of this method extend to pharmacology where it can be used to perform medium throughput, high information content drug screenings for ion channels and receptor proteins. We have chosen to demonstrate this method using snail neurons because these neurons can be easily positioned and cultured. And because these neurons will reform network in culture, uh, they make an excellent model study synapse formation. More importantly, these chips can also be used in other cell systems such as cardiac and cancer cells. The main challenge with using planar patch clamp chips is to obtain chips with clean apertures. Plating and culturing cells on plug chips would be counterproductive and therefore all chips are tested before being used. The most critical point of electrophysiological assessment comes once the cells have been cultured. It consists